You might recall that the other week on Ask Brendan, we got a question from a listener wondering if there were any haunted houses in the Kerry region. Well, I suppose that's very topical at the moment because Halloween is just around the corner. Now, we didn't get any definitive answer to the haunted houses question, but I'll show you a haunted house and I'll raise you a haunted jail because I'm joined in studio this afternoon by Killarney man Anthony Kerrigan from Ghost Era, who's going to be heading to Tarbert uh, tomorrow night in pursuit of paranormal activity. And he's inviting you, the members of the public, to come along as well. Anthony, you're very welcome. Hello, Deirdre. Hello, County Kerry. Um, first of all, it is tomorrow night, isn't it? It is yeah. tomorrow night. And not Halloween. Not Halloween, no. Usually, sometimes uh, near Halloween, we get more busy ourselves there. But because of the dates this year as well, bank holiday coming up there and half term, um, it gets a little bit too busy there. So uh, this, it's something to do this weekend and um, people to enjoy. Yeah, so it's Tarbert. Is that the Bridewell, the old jail? Yeah, j- yeah. Uh, Tarbert Bridewell Jail. Uh, Tell us a bit about it, actually. Um, to be honest, I only I we did investigate it uh, about six or seven years ago, and um, we got some great stuff during the investigation on recordings, audio recordings. We got voices. Eighty uh, percent of the time, we get these um, uh, uh, voices or noises. It could be something to do with screaming or like we. At, at the location in Tarbert, we got something like a gunshot, <laughs> which okay. is weird. Oh, so you've done it in, in We Tarbot did it. We did before. it six or seven years ago. Now the history, now it's gone out of my mind. But um, it is a very old. Building, it's very old. Building. I think nineteenth century. I think it was built there, but um, it wasn't a place. It was usually people were taken after the hearings. It was a courthouse, so after the hearings, they would go to Trilly Jail. Um, but um, so it's like a temporary facility. A temporary facility. Yeah. There, there's a few cells there. But then again, years ago, it would have been people up to around about twenty or more in a cell in a small uh, space in about eight foot by uh, three foot cell, like. And know. would people have died violently in that building? There's no uh, information or uh, record of anybody dying there. Um, but then again, was there any? There could have something happened there. Uh, it could be documented there. Um, so actually, maybe I should I take you back to go, Ghost Era mm. I- itself, the the company or the business. What is it and what do you do? Um, well, we were a search team. Um, we go around all Ireland and abroad. We've just recently come back from America. Um, we go to historical locations, um, some places that are like um, that might not have be massive or big or not not inviting as in looking at them like could be a ruined building there could be a ruined castle could be a small museum but we go for the history now the um the place we the places we know the history obviously but when we join the investigation do several vigils several experiments and we try and either lead up to the history ask questions or lead away from the history so if say some for example somebody killed somebody uh, in a location, this is like a castle, <laughs> not your own house, okay. maybe possibly. Okay. But uh, if somebody ha- happened, we're like uh, psychiatrists. Like we try and uh, um, question the ghost. Why did they did it? Why? 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 We, so it's paranormal we, activity. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's paranormal activity. Now, some of the vigils we do is like seances, uh, the Ouija board. Yes, folks, the Ouija board. <laughs> we do that. Uh, mirror scrying, uh, dowsing, and then. Uh, that's about 80% of the time is spiritual experiments uh, using human intervention connecting with the ghost or the spirit Can I just stop you for a second have you always believed in ghosts? Um, Well believed um, I suppose yeah since I was small there like I always thought as a child that, that I could change the lights flicker the lights in a room I did it to my sister one day there. Like I said, I can make that light flick, and it did, and she told me to stop it. <laughs> but uh, what, to with believe... Your, with your mind or something? or Yeah, with mine. Like, uh, it's called psychokinesis, uh, able to move stuff um, with your with, with your mind. As, uh, wow. Yeah. And uh, you, you I, had that sort of power, yeah. if you like. Well, I thought I did there. Like, yeah. I mean, it grew out of me there. It's only recently I've, the subject was brought up. But um, so, so did you ever see a ghost? See a ghost. I think seeing a ghost is we've got a very weak sense of seeing as a human person. Like with color and sound, we could see a lot more. Hearing as well, we're very weak in that kind of sense. 
Um, see a ghost, I could probably see um, a person out there now recognise them in full, full form, but not see them as, as what literature and religion would state and theatre as a you know, transparent being. Okay. You know, so, it's so, more so, of a presence. Presence there. Um, okay. do, do people think you're mad when you when you tell them what what you do for a living? Do they say, uh, "Ah, that's a load of old nonsense"? I suppose they could do that. Then you know, we we get asked a lot. There is it anywhere haunted? As probably as they said last week on Brendan's show, is anyone haunted? Uh, haunt means frequent. So means what? Sorry, f- frequent, frequent. Okay. So, so it happens all around. You know, it's just whether you're open to let yourself. Um, uh, be aware of what's around you. So what will you be looking for in Tarbert on Friday night? Tarbert, will we do five sessions uh, lasting between 45 minutes with a break in between uh, three main sessions and two sessions which are split up. Um, We'd be looking to see if we can make contact with the afterlife using various different experiments like using, like an example, a coloured mood board. Uh, it's to uh, use different colours uh, to explain different emotions. So instead of asking, are you good or bad, we can ask the spirit there what kind of emotion you're feeling. So there's a lot of different emotions a person can feel. So a ghost would have that same purpose. Um, we do, do the, obviously, we do a seance, we do a Ouija board, we do like a manifestation board, so we see what cat- category of spirit there's around. Like you might have heard of uh, fairies. You may have heard of doppelgangers, which is uh, a double of yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, probably, if some of that came up on the board, using, say, we connect on a glass or wooden uh, device, and if that moves, say, to doppelganger, people would probably be afraid and say, oh, my God, is that a double of me or something like that? But then going back in the past, if it was a spirit there, like they might think that we look like them. Another thing is in the past, their uh, spirits might not have known that they were a twin. So their other spirit or the brother or sister might have come back. Might come back to visit. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, a a lot of people believe that if a place is haunted or has a presence or whatever term you want to use, that Mm. it's because the person who died has sort of unfinished business in this world. Mm. Is that true? And, and, And if so, do we take it that most people who pass on are quite happy? wherever they are. Oh, it depends. Like, we're in a fast life now. These days, I think we've got plenty of unfinished business. <laughs> I, check, business I go on yeah. Facebook and say, I've just passed away there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to type that down later, later status. But um, unfinished business, yeah, I suppose, um, I suppose it's, you could say that a lot of spirits probably might not know how to make contact either there. There might be, that's why we're trying to investigate on the research, trying to see the level and categories of spirit they're at. Um, some of them might be might know they're dead, but might not know how to communicate. Um, some of them uh, uh, be willing to communicate, but won't say a word. Okay. Uh, so um, some of them just might not have any knowledge of ourselves there. So, so you've been all over the world doing this, obviously, as um, you mentioned. Just America there. So, America. Yeah. What was the scariest experience you ever had? Um, scariest of experience, I suppose it is probably recently there, because we're getting more in tune there. Um I would have to say we, a spirit came through on my voice there. Um, this was in Waterford recently on an investigation. Where I controlled my mind, but the body was in, it was a bit out of control. But it was nothing threatening. It was all good. Um, but uh, came mo- through yourself. Came through. Yeah. Um, it's the voice came through. I could feel it. it's like uh, you know that feeling when you're about to gag, be sick. I felt that expression, and then it just suddenly came out of my, my, my mouth there, like so. Uh, yeah, interesting. That, that freaked you out a bit. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't freak me out there because the, the more it gets, it's an adrenaline, you know, it's what you're into there. Like, yeah. you know. I, I spoke to a druid from Dingle yeah. on the show a few weeks ago, and something she said stayed with me. She said, The, the dead are never closer to us than they are at Halloween. Oh, yeah. At, yeah you sh- know, the pagan festival. True, and yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that's when the whole. A few countries, like some of the world, like we're more alert and to knowing what's around, like, you know. Um, you know I've gone back centuries still now, like, you know, we still celebrate, like, the end, the harvest there and uh, celebrate the end, it's the end of the year, you know, as in some old ways there, you know. Yeah. So, uh, and we do in, in, in Irish history and in Catholicism and everything, mm, November is the month of the dead as well, to true. remember the dead. Yeah. So, is and it a good time of the year to have so, an event like this? It, it is, yeah, and it's, um, it's good. Uh, for everyone there like that who have that interest it's getting even popular now I think Halloween's got more popular over the last two decades definitely and, but um, as I say it's a time to remember your loved ones as well that have passed away there and um, in old traditional times would have left a plate out uh, for on the table and um, 
doing little games there. Well, apart from that, the game probably part of it is there to, is to enjoy yourself as well and to exactly. move on there. But it's, it's still a chance to remember as well. Yeah. So, um, Anthony, can anyone head along on Friday night? Um, well, the, the places are becoming limited now, so I would suggest um, to email me on ghost underscore era. Okay, ghost underscore era, and that's E I R E, yeah, yeah. At, at, uh, 66 at yahoo.com. So 66 at yahoo.com if anyone wants to, to head along. And it's this Friday night at the it's, Rival. Yeah, it's tomorrow there. So um, it's, um, it's we'll, we'll go through what we'll be doing um, with the experiments there. And there's going to be a few bits of new stuff there. Um, do you have a website? people? We do, to, yeah. yeah. Uh, www.ghostera.net. Ghostera.net. We have a, a book out at the moment called The Rising of Haunted Ireland. Uh, which is, includes Dunbeg Fort, which unfortunately fell into the sea uh, a few years ago there. Um, that's with 12 locations, bonus footage with a DVD there. Okay. So uh, lots, lots of information for anyone who's into all that sort True, of thing. True, yeah. Um, Got to leave it there, unfortunately, Anthony, because we're out of time, but uh, fascinating yeah. stuff. Um, I'm a bit of a cynic about all of that. Okay. No problem. Uh, but I, I always have an open mind, and okay. it, it was fascinating talking to Cheers, you Deirdre. in any event no uh, Anthony Kerrigan from Ghost Era and that event is at the Bridewell in Tarbert tomorrow night if you are interested uh, log on to ghostera.net is the website